This is really an interesting story, and I think uh, divine providence had a lot to do with it. I was on an airplane returning to College Station. Rick Rigsby was seated next to me. I'd never met Rick Rigsby, didn't know him. Uh, we started visiting on the plane, and uh, it was really, we had a great conversation, and I told him one of my things that I had thought about. I, I've always, we taught kids how to play cover two and how to have press technique and all that, but the life skills, how to live life is something that was really important to me in my coaching. And after talking with him, uh, I said, we need to talk some more. So when we get back, I said, let's have lunch next week. And after visiting with him and, and sharing even more about uh, what I was wanting to do, uh, we got together, our, the AD, Wally Groff, agreed to let me hire him on a part-time basis. At that time, he was a speech communications professor full-time at A&M. But I actually created a role for him in the football department, and later that expanded, I think, throughout the athletic department, but uh, specifically for football. To be a mentor, uh, a chaplain of sorts, an instructor, we created a curriculum, the two of us together. Of, and I think we were one of the first ones, if not the first, to use the term life skills. And so we started talking about how do, how do you live life? What are the things that you'd want a young man to do? And uh, we created, for example, in our curriculum, uh, a little class on honesty. And so we're not talking about just not robbing stores. That's part of it. We're talking about being honest in your relationships. When you tell someone something, be, be meaningful and, and be a person where they can count on that being true. And Rick did an unbelievable job for us in that area. He was so impactful to our players. I've heard him speak many times since then in a lot of different situations. I think he's the absolute best. I mean, he is such a motivator and has such a great insight into life and character and all those issues. I think he's one of the, he, if you've never heard him speak, you're missing it. And if you've heard him, you're like me, you want to hear him again.